we come now to an important tool and idea, um, which leads on to uh, some other important ideas. Uh, and uh, it's also an amazing source of contention. Um, and that is firewalls. Now, for some people, a firewall is all you need. You got a firewall, you, you have, you know, you're finished with security problems. You don't have any more security problems. Uh, that, um, I mean, it really depends on, on how you want to define a firewall and, and what you want to, uh, uh, you know, how much work you want to put into it. The other thing is that, of course, an awful lot of people thought, you know, firewalls came out, okay, you know, all we need to do is buy a firewall. No, even if you buy a really good firewall, you've still got to manage it. And so in the same way that, you know, people thought that they were going to get away with managing security because all they'd have to do is put in a firewall. Okay, you're not managing security anymore, you're managing a firewall. So, um, you know, don't be fooled. Um, but the, the other aspect is what kind of firewall? And there are many kinds of, of firewall. Um, so, um, the, uh, the simplest, the earliest, um, and, and one that you can set up on any uh, Unix uh, system, um, you know, the name of the tool escapes me at the moment, but anyways, um, is a packet filter. That is, you are, you are filtering packets. And uh, you, you, ha you know, set up a set of rules. This is, you know, an access control list by any other name. Uh, you know, some things get in, some things don't get in. Um, you can do it on the basis of the, the port number, which uh, uh, looks at, you know, what kind of traffic you will allow, what kind of applications you will allow. Um, you can, uh, uh, there's, there's a variety, you can, you know, filter uh, the sender's address, um, you can filter uh, sensitive systems within your system, you know, in, in, in terms of the destination address. Uh, but it's a packet filter. So, what is a packet filter? Um, I go to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue or 24 Sussex Drive or number 10 Downing Street, you know, whatever. And, uh, you know, if it's 24 Sussex Drive, want to see Justin. Okay. Uh, the guy at the gate uh, looks at his list. Okay, you're on the list. In you go. Uh, or you're not on the list. No, you, you don't get in. So that's a, that's a packet filter. Then there is stateful inspection. Now, stateful inspection, um, it's, uh, there are uh, some different, there's some variation in, in what the definition of a stateful uh, inspection is, but uh, we'll take a very simple one and, and leave some of the others for, for later. Um, and so a stateful inspection, go to 24 Sussex Drive, uh, want to see Justin, uh, and the guy, uh, you know, may look me up on the list, but he also remembers, you know, you were here this morning and you caused a problem, you're not getting in. So, you know, what is the state? What is, you know, is there um, information we have accrued about um, this address, this application, whatever it may be, um, that tells us, no, um, you know, this, this packet should not be allowed. Uh, or, conversely, um, yeah, you were here this morning for meetings, I remember, and you go. Uh, so again, stateful inspection. Um, so, uh, now, 
Then we get into proxies, and, and proxies, I mean, the word proxy just means doing something on somebody else's behalf. And the, the simplest form of proxy is what's referred to as the circuit-level proxy. Uh, circuit-level proxy, uh, 24 Sussex Drive, I go up to the door, uh, I got a question for Justin. And he says, okay, you know, write it down, I'll take it in. Um, so I write it down, put it in an envelope, the guy takes it in, uh, gets the answer from the Prime Minister, brings the answer back out. So all that a, a circuit-level proxy is doing is making some separation between the requester and the resource internally. And uh, we can, uh, uh, you know, avoid certain types of, of problems with that. Um, now, part of, and, and one aspect, one example of circuit level proxy is network address translation. Of course, we use network address translation uh, more recently, um, particularly with IPv4 networks, we have used it as um, um, an extender of, you know, we, we have more machines than we have IP addresses for, at least in terms of the, uh, the machine, uh, machines that we have internally. Um, so, for example, uh, at home, um, you know, I have one IP address provided dynamically by my uh, provider. And we'll talk about DHCP at some point. But anyway, um, I have one IP address. But, you know, I've got uh, three phones and two, uh, sorry, four uh, computers. Uh, that are working there. So, you know, there's, there's network address translation going on. Um, and the, the router is handling all of, of that. It, you know, assigns port numbers, um, which may have nothing to do with the actual application. It's just, you know, a convenient way for it to number um, whose traffic goes to what machine. Um, that, you know, so that's a, a, an example, a, a type of um, a circuit level proxy. It's just, you know, it's handing the information across. It's, it's not even, as in the example of, of the guard, uh, looking at the content. It's, it's just, you know, relaying it, but not allowing a direct connection. Um, and then there is the, the application level proxy. And so the application level proxy, 24 Sussex Drive, got a question for Justin. Okay, what is it? I tell the guard, the guard starts walking in, and uh, as he's going down the hall to the prime minister's office, realizes, wait a minute, um, this uh, question really should be going to the Secretary of State uh, or the Minister of External Affairs. Um, and so, uh, you know, redirects it and, and uh, gets the answer and, and comes back and lets me know the answer. So. Um, this is a more complicated, more involved, and obviously more processing intensive type of activity. Um, looking at not only the, the sender, the destination, the type of uh, application that it wants, but also the, uh, the content and are there factors in there that, uh, you know, make it dangerous, uh, make it uh, benign, whatever. So um, there is, you know, more processing. It's looking at much more of the, the data involved in the packet, um, but it's also um, having to do more processing and having to have more information about the uh, possible consequences of this particular packet. Um, and so I, an application level proxy can get very complex. It, it can look at all kinds of things. It can, you know, pull in all kinds of information, but there is a processing cost involved in doing that.